Well, good morning. Today, and I guess it's Columbus Day, uh, so maybe uh, we'll say a few things. Uh, well, maybe not too. Let's go to John chapter one. I think sometimes we really need to reflect upon who Jesus is, who he was, who he is, uh, because there's just so much misunderstanding about Jesus. And when John writes what we call the Gospel of John, he begins it with a hammer blow. I mean, after the first few verses, uh, he makes certain about who Jesus was. In fact, the, the, what he says is so extraordinary that uh, uh, we just sometimes are not stunned or startled by what he says because what he says is really uh, profound. So let's look at these verses for just a moment this morning. In John chapter 1 and verse 1 and following, and it helps sometimes to have a grip on the original language because uh, it says a whole lot more than when you're just casually reading uh, these verses. So in John chapter 1, he talks about in the beginning, and of course he's referencing the creation. He's going all the way back to Genesis chapter 1, where it talks about God created the world. And so he says, in the beginning was the word. Now that little word was is, is an imperfect tense, and it really stretches back before the creation because what it means is it goes back beyond the creation. There's no definite beginning with the word was. So in the beginning, he's already there and he pre-existed the uh, beginning. But that's not the only startling thing he says about the Lord. It says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Now, right away, you can see there's something uh, about what we sometimes call the Trinity. A better word would be the Godhead, where the Godhead refers to God the Father and Jesus the Son and the Holy Spirit. So you're getting you're getting right in the beginning some just tremendous uh, statements when you begin to think about it. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God, not God the Father, but God the Son. And notice this, the same was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by him. Now think about that. He's talking about how Jesus created, along with the Father, the world. And then, and then it goes, and without him there was nothing that was made that was made. Isn't that a tremendous statement? And now as you go further, because there's a whole lot to say about this, but not only did he create the world, but the world was created for him in the next verse. Now, who's he speaking about? When you get down to verse 14, it's very, very clear. He speaks about how Jesus, the Son of God, tabernacled or dwelt with us. Isn't that a tremendous statement? Now, we're just getting a glimpse, but I tell you what, if you sink into this, there's some pretty deep stuff about who Jesus was. He certainly was more than just a man. He's the creator and the redeemer. Those are some thoughts to ponder, aren't they? Well, I'll see you tomorrow.